Hello, welcome back for another frequency review. And for today, we're going to be covering something from the different company. This one is Sublime Balkis. I'm going to be showing you the bottle in the box, so let's go. So yes, here we go with the box, the different company, Sublime Balkis. And as I show you the box, I'm going to be giving you a feel of what um, Sublime Balkis smells like on my skin. And a little history about this. Jean-Claude Elena, the one who founded this, the different company, founded it in year 2000 and by the time he was uh, appointed as the in-house perfumer for Hermes, which was around 2011, I believe his son Celine Elena was named as the nose for this brand and she took over. So this is what we have for the box, just really simplistic. Upon the opening of this, you would get huge, huge dose of photorealistic grapes, which isn't found in a lot of uh, modern perfumery today. I think they should use grapes more often. The grapes used in here are just so alive, so sweet, so tangy, along with the bergamot and combined with the crispness that you could feel from the violets, the top is just really shall I say really glorious really posh really cultured so this is the vibe that should be giving off when wearing this one and going on to the mid the grape carries through the mid as well as the violet the bergamot somehow uh, the freshness of the bergamot somehow fades into the mid stages of this maybe after 40 minutes to an hour the bergamot uh, sharpness and sourness of the bergamot fades and upon the mid you'd get the backbone of freshness from the lilac and upon sniffing closely you could detect minuscule hints of uh, this red sweet rose and still violet and the grapes are the star of this composition it carries through until the base notes the grape and the violet the violet again still giving off the very green vibe very crispy vibe about this the grape just splashes its juice all over really sweet and tangy and they were paired by this um i think it's clean patchouli note this is clean patchouli note in the base and basically that's it that's what we have for the development of sublime ball kiss with all those being said i'm gonna be giving you three reasons why you should have sublime ball kiss in your fragrance rotation reason number one versatility now think of any occasion from really really casual lounging in your house walking your dog up to those business meetings up to those black tie events sublime ball kiss can cover every occasion from your shorts flip-flops up to your little black dress now regarding the weather sunny day gloomy day rainy day coldest of days still sublime ball kiss would not get out of place reason number two uniqueness i don't i don't recall any other scents that resemble sublime ball kiss the lushness and the juiciness of this berries or grapes the crispiness and the fragrance of these violet leaves and the freshness of these lilacs that specific combination i don't i don't smell it in other perfumes i don't see it in other brands so what does that mean for you you'd smell really unique and you stand out reason number three performance this one performs really well in terms of longevity this one lasts on me let's say seven hours plus still detectable in your skin projection huge for the first two or three hours people would notice you if that's what you want yes they will notice your class and your elegance with this it projects siage it leaves a decent scent trail they could they could practically follow you now con number one the price this is not the most affordable shipper out there uh 
$200. I think it's around $200 for 100 ml of Eau de Parfum and around $125 for 50 ml of this. Con number two, this tends to smell really feminine. For men who are really interested in this, you should try a sample first. But then again, there are people who can rock Dior Homme, um, Tom Ford's Black Orchid with no problem. So yeah, these are just my opinions, recommendations, and suggestions. At the end of the day, you do you. This has been your host Alex and yes, thank you.